Have you always lived in Livonia? Yes. And tell me how your family ended up in Livonia or this county. We grew up here, as far as I can remember. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of Shoal Creek Music Park? Mm -mm. Down in Shoal Creek? My Mm -hmm. grandparents built that. Oh, no way. Conway Park and Conway Twitty. Oh, no way. That's cool. My grandparents, they died before I was born, um, and they had sold it to Clem. And Clem's passed away now, so it's just all grown up. But as far as I can remember, we've always lived here. And all your family's still here? Yeah. Walters, um, poultry. We had, like, chicken houses, and my dad was a butcher, meat cutter. But these chicken houses here? No. No, no different ones. No. Yeah. yeah. We're just, um, which way did you come from? I came in. 59th. Yeah. Well, you pat, Whiting Road makes a horseshoe mm-hmm. connected like this, and he's right in the middle, like, back there. Okay. So that's, that's where I grew up. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's really neat. Yeah. That... So, uh, as long as I can remember. Yeah. Just, Been in the area. You know, yeah. Um... Yeah, um, that, that's neat. My, I grew up 20 minutes from where I live, but, um, all right, let me go through these. Ant- okay. Could you tell me what kind of home you live in? Um, Is it a, a single, single family? Story, yes, single story, um, garage attached, uh, Cross space underneath. I'm trying to think of what the insurance what yeah. they say. You know, and you lived here for 12 years in yes. this home. Yes, I had it built. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you said because I know it wasn't recorded, right? But you Easy. were wanting. Oh, you're good with that. You want a pool. Yes. Yeah. So you uh, have some land that you want to put a pool. Three on. acres. Um, as you say, it's just outlined by trees, so it's like. Um, what did I used to say? It's uh, there's a lot of potential mm-hmm. with it. So and you want to get a pool house? house. Yes. Oh. Yep, and that's my next goal is a pool house and a, a pool. And after 12 years, well, it was my 10 year goal, but yeah. I'm kind of. You know, but like you said, you know, it's yeah. on your own time. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Have you invested in solar either on the rooftop of your home, on your property, or as part of your business, or as part of the program through your utility company? No, I have not. I'm interested, but, and I, oh my gosh, I want to say. Oh, between five to ten years, or maybe when I, I don't know how long it's been, but I actually went online and um, found, you know, solar or something, and I, you know, info contact us, and, you know, I was interested in it, and Mm -hmm. I think it was a scam, just because then my mailbox, Mm -hmm. my email started getting flooded, and I never heard anything, like, through the, I didn't go through my um, heart, I'm with Heart EMC. Okay. I didn't go through them, but it was through a light company. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so I said I was interested, but it never, never, never really happened. happened. Yeah. It. Um, and then you, you don't know if your utility company, even they had never offered it. To Correct. Part, you know, Correct. Or, you know. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, tell me why you do not have rooftop solar. Um, oh, excuse me. Uh, you asked if yes I... tell me why you do not have rooftop solar did you make that decision or was it made for you I feel like it was made for me because if I could you know talk to somebody figure it out you know I uh, I wouldn't mind yeah just accessibility uh, yeah. or yes not feel like it's accessible correct yeah I, you know I do a lot of research and just like that with online mm-hmm. ask reaching out a contact us type help thing and i just uh, no nope. oh. okay just never got any information right yeah yeah if you had the option would you put rooftop solar on your home yes you said yes yeah sorry it's like a repeat and tell me why you would or would not i would because i for one hmm Tell me why you would adopt. I, yes. You might have answered that, but we'll just review it. Cause. Yes, I'm interested in it because not only do I feel like it will save energy for me, you know, as far as uh, income, you know, being a single mom, but just energy yeah. for the earth, though, you know, with the power lines and all the electricity that's... I can't tell you how many times... My main interest is to see the difference okay so monday through friday 
we leave the house at 6.30, and you see we're home at 5. Mm-hmm. So in literally 12 hours of the day, mm-hmm. we're not even here. Mm-hmm. You know, so I mm-hmm. feel like it would help yeah. energy-wise. And with the air and heat on, one month it could be 70. The next month it goes up to 400. Tell me how, when I do the same thing every day, I don't do anything different. You see what I'm saying? Me. Oh, my gosh. I, we don't do anything different. As you can walk around, everything, if there's a light or something, it's unplugged. Yeah. Because I understand, yeah. I do know that even if it, if it's off, it, with it plugged in, it's still using electricity. But for it to range from 70 to 400, that's like insane to me. Wow. You, is how that, how can, can someone explain that to me? How it changes is it that drastically? The, the heat or is it the electricity or, or the air conditioning or just doesn't yeah, matter? It, it's just... Um, you know, like if it's cold with the heat just constantly running, mm-hmm. or if it's hot with the he- air just constantly running. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've had the air, con- I've had the heat and the air looked out. It's a train, so yeah, that's it, wild. I mean, that's just too drastic. Yeah, for me to comprehend. Right. I mean, I understand, you know, seventy to one fifty double, but when it like quadruples like that, and it's just me and her, and wow. I. Yeah, I don't get it. So I just, um, I know that trying the same thing over and over, getting the same results is the definition of insanity. So this is something different. So I'm interested in trying something different. Yeah, that's $400 for a bill. Yeah, so that's a it lot to doesn't. get in the mail or email. When I do the same thing. You know, I don't yeah. change anything. The only thing that changes, you know, is the weather. Yeah. So if something, if it's running Harder, longer. longer. But you're not even here exactly. during the day to right. enjoy it. Mm-hmm. So you would adopt it to help financially um, reduce your bills and for the environment. Correct. Yeah. Yes. We're going to talk about solar in general. And we're okay. going to start with a map of the United States. And um, you're going to circle on the map. Where do you think people adopt or invest the most in solar? And you can go as much as you want or as little as you want with circling or... I'd probably say the northwest. I know Florida. We actually have a couple of places that I've noticed, like uh, driving out to Tia yeah, Autumn to the plants. Mm-hmm. A couple of places, and that's you know what got you know. I mean, where are these people at? Why can't I talk to them? You know, they're doing it for the county for yes. businesses. <laughs> Sorry, for businesses. So yeah, what about so residential. Why aren't they coming and asking? Right. I heard there's one being built. Yeah. I don't know, but right in the beginning of Albonia. Yeah. Um, or wait, across from the Waffle House. Um, the guy told me today it's across That's going to be solar? Because I thought it's it was going to be a Texas roadhouse. So across from the Waffle House. Yeah. There's a big, op- like across the yes. street. He said yeah, that's. They, they've leveled it out. That's what he told me. Is solar going to be solar? I have no idea. Yeah, he said, is it surrounded by trees? Yes. He said, they're going to put solar there. Okay. I don't know what, like, I don't know who it we is. We all thought it was going to be a Texas roadhouse. It might be a solar one. <laughs> solar operated. Oh, my that gosh. Because nice. um, Texas roadhouse is good. Right. Um, why that, do you, <laughs> yeah, that's probably my two. What oh, makes these nice. communities, or all three of these, so this community, we'll do it separate questions. Okay. What makes this community so different from the people we're, from your community? We, okay, so I've been to New York, and it is crammed, Mm -hmm. a lot of people. Where I live, of course, Atlanta is crammed. I feel like we're open, you know, Mm -hmm. pastures and whatnot, but I feel this northwest, Shaylee, no ma'am, is, because I've also been to Nevada, Okay. And it is literally nothing. Yeah. So I know that all this area is just just wide open. No. So instead of, you know, doing power lines and everything, I would think that they do solar. Right. So they have to run the lines? Yeah. There's, yeah. It's so open. Yeah. There's not, you have to go forever to get somewhere to see anything. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. To see anything. So, what kind of people live in these communities that would adopt or invest it? Farmers. Farmers. Okay. Um, in Florida, what makes this community different from people in Franklin County? I see Florida being retirement. A lot of older people. Um, 
even as well as younger people, colleges, Jacksonville, um, with the younger generation looking to get into solar and with the older generation retiring, not wanting to have to Mm -hmm. deal with things, I would think. Um, so kind of answer that what kind of people live in these yeah. communities, older, yeah, older and, younger. and younger. All right. And in the Texas, Area, um, South, yes. I guess that's Mexico. Mm-hmm. I don't know. No, I should, <laughs> sorry without the light bulbs on them. Um, <laughs> what makes, uh, these communities different from the people than in Franklin County? Again, with the wide open of the... Spaced out, does that, does that make any sense? Mm-hmm. You know, there's too large of a space and not enough people. So they're... Instead of running lines for ever and ever, right. it'd be easier to put patches yes. where yeah. people need it. And again, farmers. Yeah. Farmers. I would think. Or businesses, even in like uh, Dallas... You know the the like Atlanta, the mm-hmm. city types mm-hmm. businesses having solar. Yeah, on the larger yeah top business people. Mm-hmm. Well, we're gonna do the same with Georgia. Okay. Look. Um, what community do you think that people have adopted the most solar in Georgia? And again, you can circle as much or as little as you want. Okay. Well, I have seen a couple but see it's all business you know larger patches of solar that I've seen here um that I think do solar yeah who do you think has adopted the most solar I don't think we have I've just seen them (laughs) but it's everywhere else I don't know I guess Atlanta would be. And what makes the Atlanta community different from Franklin County or Fulton County? It's or? more compact, which is kind of the opposite of what I said for the other places for people getting uh, solar because it's so widespread. Then being compact, you know, to save with energy of having so many people together. Right. So what kind of people live in Atlanta, the area, the circled area? That have developed that? I'd that say, have adopted. I'd say business. Solar. Business people. Yeah. And what about in... Um, business. Businesses. Is yes. this a... You're counting, right? Yeah. That's why you're circling there. Okay. Yeah. It's hard with... I think it's hard without the titles. <laughs> well, yeah. I kind of looked at it. I know Athens and... Like that looks like, about right. Daniels. So that's why I kind of... Yeah. <laughs> Hart County. And, yeah. Hart. Yeah. Because yeah. I passed through a little bit of Hart, I think. Um, okay. So... What about most of your close friends and family in this uh, community uh, or in Georgia? Do they have solar? None. I don't know anybody. No, no, not anybody, not even a community member. No, I don't even know where that patch came from. I just know it's over there near the plants. Yeah. And I think those people are from the community or like an outsider? I think outside. Outside business. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because, like I said, I grew up here. I know, you know, a lot of people. And Mm -hmm. just like that with Texas Roadhouse, I mean, people talk, you know, so we know. But I hadn't heard anything about. Um, You know, that's interesting because it's, I wonder what is, because I'm, you know, there's so much hearsay anyway. Yeah. Who knows if I'm even being told the right Uh, right. thing. Right. So Curious, yeah. Yeah. Um, Why do you think people don't have solar, rooftop solar in the area? Because there's no knowledge. Uh, there's no options, there's no information, there's there's no knowledge, period. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and if you think people had, ex- like, knowledge or accessibility, you think they'd be more apt to, or... 100%. Mm, yeah. Your family and friends included. Yes. yes. Do you feel like the friends and family would adopt it to save money or to help with the environment? Both. Or 50-50 equally. Yeah. yeah. Just kind of your concerns... Okay, so that's pretty much the 10 questions, and we went over the map is, you know, a lot of what I'm getting is that you wish you had a, somebody offered it, more knowledge about it in your community, in your home, um, you'd be willing, you know, to participate in any yes. kind of studies or anything yes. additionally with solar power or anything like that, and um, to kind of help you with 
your bills and help with the environment. Yes. What about aesthetically? Do you think on your roof, do you mind them on your roof if they were like on the front of your roof? Does it bother you how they look? No. No. Or if they had to take up, like say it wasn't rooftop, but if it was like on the field, if it had to take up some of your land, would you mind? Nope. As long as it would help you yeah. financially. Yep. Yeah. If I and because I with the three acres that I have, I there I've told you there's so much potential I can do here. I know that there could be a spot that yeah. And the cost would have to be something where you'd have to make it up. Like if it was really expensive upfront cost, how would that? You know, would that be something if you saw if it was a twenty year thing, would it still be as appealing or? Well, yeah, because I see it as an investment over yeah. time, just like a home. Yeah. Just a part of your home, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because you don't see the investment in your home until exactly you pay it off. But you're still going to utilize it. Yeah. So yeah, right, definitely. Yeah.